All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization, here on this gorgeous Monday morning, November 8th, 2021, we are in Charlottesville, Virginia. We're in the middle of a, uh, of a ladybug swarm here on this gorgeous day in Charlottesville, Virginia, and the little dog and I need to go out on a walk on this beautiful day. So, but before we head out, I have not, I, I've been on the road and haven't had a chronicle of the collapse since, I believe, Friday. So I'm pouring over the mainstream media news, looking at all of the obvious choices. I am sick and tired of COP26. So we're going to, uh, we're just going to talk about how to make money in the collapse of a planet and this you know, when I hear this, the very words, Joe Biden infrastructure bill, I, uh, you know, my, my eyes, even for a doomer, just uh, rolls back in my head. Now, I fully understand that Joe Biden's infrastructure bill is not an attack on the planet quite to the level of the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, but, but you better believe that, uh, that the infrastructure bill is, uh, is going to be a major, major assault on the planet. Anybody calling themselves a, you know, an environmentalist, whether from being one of those little greeny, lefty, AOC, flag-waving environmentalists to being a doomer anywhere on the spectrum uh, supporting Joe Biden's infrastructure bill. Uh, you, you are so clueless and sadly confused. It, 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 anybody, yes, so I'm going to disabuse, if, if there's anybody left on this planet particularly over here on this channel, thinking that Joe Biden and the Democrats are going uh, to save this country and this planet from ecological collapse. We're going to go over here to Market Watch. You know, talking by market, meaning the stock market watch. Uh, right here, this is from their deep dive desk. All right, this is their analysis of how to make money off the collapse of a planet. <clears throat> Five infrastructure stocks to buy now that now that Biden's bill has passed. This is according to Jeffries. I guess Jeffries is some <coughs> sort of stock broker or something. Anyway. The uh, takeaway from this is the big money pot, the big money pot for highways, bridges, and other projects means these companies are expected to grow earnings at double digit rates. So this is a way to make double digits. I was thinking that Caterpillar tractor you know, the ultimate, my favorite corporate name for a planet eater. So I guess Caterpillar did not make the top five, although they do say they have another article, uh, Caterpillar stocks surge after infrastructure bills passage gives big boost to materials makers. So, somewhat disappointingly, the aptly named Caterpillar did not make the top five, but uh, this one here, Vulcan Industries. This is, you can kind of get a little bit of an idea. Vulcan Industries, her little uh, OSHA hard hat says, think safety. Vulcan Materials Company, think safety as you're looking at some major mining 
project. So, uh, make no mistake uh, who is absolutely cheering on Joe Biden and, uh, and that would be the Planet Eaters. Okay. Let's take it away. The infrastructure bill that was passed by the House of Representatives late on November 5th will pay off for some companies, yes, over several years, according to Jeffries Phillip. His last name is N.G. How do you pronounce the word N.G.? There is no consonant, no consonant in the word N.G. I'm going to call him Ng, Mr. Ng. Philip Ng. The analyst, he is a, an analyst, a planet-eating analyst, listed five construction materials stocks. He believes investors should buy now. Yes. Uh, before we get into it, this is his, this is Mr. Ng's comments. Quote, the bill increases highway funding by 50% over the next five years. All right. Increases highway funding by 50% over the next five years. And we estimate it could increase aggregate shipments of construction materials by about 9% uh, over five years. There you go. So 9% isn't quite double digit, but I guess it's close enough. Um, all right, the infrastructure bill is far less controversial than President Biden's $2 trillion social spending uh, plan, plan and, and which is uh, not surprising at all because obviously the Republicans are, are not going to get behind that one. But you better believe uh, if you want a way to, you know, to get the Republicans and what they call Democrats nowadays, it's to uh, increase funding for highways by 50%. You know, it's to make uh, construction aggregate materials uh, corporation stock go through the roof. That will get Democrats and Republicans probably the best way to, you know, heal the rift between Democrats and Republicans, the shrinking rift, it, it, you know, is to start talking about, uh, you know, mining the planet to build more highways, ramming more roads across more of the landscape, you know, building these damn planet-eating bridges, Obviously, we're talking cement. Uh, cement, uh, uh, you know, sand, gravel, uh, sand and gravel mining uh, is, is what they're talking, a huge portion of what they're talking about here is sand and gravel mining. It is cement production. Uh, I have heard all sorts of estimates on the carbon footprint of cement production. Let me put this charcoal grill as a windscreen. Good God, that is a heavy charcoal grill. Anyway, hell with that. I was trying to make a windscreen. So uh, you can expect carbon emissions from concrete production in the U.S. to go through the roof over the next five years. This bill is doing more to uh, the, the increase in carbon emissions from the increase in cement production in the U.S. over the next five years will probably pretty much soak up anything that uh, that this net zero commitment uh, 
for Joe Biden or anybody supporting him calling Joe Biden an environmentalist. Okay. Uh, where was I? It may have been easy for many investors to predict the passing of the infrastructure bill. Yes. Uh, the spending increase may already be baked into share prices of many effective companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so here is a breakdown of the top. No, this is a breakdown of expected spending and the number one on the list it, by, by, by orders of magnitude is uh, highways, which I'm assuming means bridges, means new roads, widening roads, uh, building bridges, you can, I mean, asphalt companies. Isn't a, the major ingredient in asphalt, isn't that oil? I'm pretty sure asphalt is just a petroleum product. So asphalt makers are celebrating, uh, you know, these, uh, the, well, of course, uh, I mean, these people like Caterpillar, building these giant uh, planet-eating machinery uh, that's going to be moving all of this cement. Of course, the 18-wheeler trucks. Uh, it is the, the truck driving industry, the truck making industry. Here is aviation. Well, aviation's only getting a 25 billion dollar uh, gift from Joe Biden. Uh, okay. Uh, this is about a 50% increase from the previous five years of funding. Uh, okay. So, uh, what are the favorite building product stocks. Ng believes the new infrastructure spending puts the federal and state's transportation departments in better positions to allocate funds with, I love this, with more shovel-ready projects. I love that term for the collapse. We have a new term for the glossary of the collapse shovel ready projects get your shovels ready and we're not talking a garden spade uh, okay finally here are the five building products stocks ing recommends and then he breaks all of these down okay coming up number one uh, how about Martin Marietta Materials Division. Uh, Martin Marietta, which of course, you know, one of the big uh, military industrial complexes that Dwight D. Eisenhower was uh, warning us about. This isn't so much their weapons division. This is Martin Marietta's Materials Division meaning uh, I, I'm sure shit uh, probably if it's Martin Marietta I'm guessing they, they build things like probably the goddamn machines to move all of the you know to actually eat the planet uh, I can only imagine what Martin Marietta uh, the number one stock to make money off the collapse of a planet Martin Marietta Number two, Vulcan Materials. Number three, Eagle Materials Incorporated. Number four, Summit Materials Incorporated. And coming in number five, kind of a weird name, all right, Will Scott Mobile Mini Holding Corporation Class A. Uh, 
that's a little uh, not quite as in your face. So anywhere they break all of these stocks down. Uh, all right, the first four companies uh, on the list provide various materials used in heavy construction, while the last one uh, provides temporary storage facilities used in construction in other industries. Whoa, pretty weird. Uh, then they look at the expected earnings and the cash flow uh, and breaking all of this down. And then uh, they take you into the next article uh, about Vulcan and Caterpillar stocks surging as infrastructure bill passes. Uh, then they talk another article about the bipartisan support for the infrastructure bill. Uh, here is one. And finally, U.S. infrastructure bill screams bullish for oil as crude futures rise. Of, of obviously, the the fossil fuel companies, the oil companies, were absolutely high-fiving today. Uh, as Joe Biden and, the, and those little Democrats uh, put China's Belt and Road Initiative to the, to the test. Uh, so the big winners, Martin Defense Contractors and oil companies, Yes, uh, it is another day on the planet, but uh, I'm going to wrap up today's Chronicle of the Collapse and check out the this, what I've been looking at is this uh, ladybug uh, infestation. There is no ladybug apocalypse. I have ladybugs on my hand. I've got two ladybugs on my camera. Man, look at the ladybugs. There is no ladybug apocalypse at uh... <laughs> Good Lord. I don't love the ladybugs. It's what they do. I've actually found these uh... Have you ever seen these things? I've found these a couple of times where they they get in these swarms, these ladybugs for the winter. They get into these swarms. I mean, thousands and thousands. It, it almost looks like a living basketball. They make they just get in this big ball, and uh, with thousands and thousands. So maybe we're having a ladybug basketball forming so got some good news here about the insect apocalypse get out there and enjoy your ladybug invasion while you still can on this spectacularly gorgeous day bye guys